Hello everyone, welcome to DJSoft videos and DJSoft YouTube channel. Today we are looking at the Anderson Model X. You don't know how I'm happy to test this mixer to put my hand on it. I um, saw it in uh, Instagram, I saw the brand, so I was totally under um, love for this uh, mixer. I, I'm, at this time I wanted to test it so bad, so I contact the brand and I receive it. So thank you the brand Anderson to send me the mixer to test it and show you uh, this quality mixer because it's a analog, totally analog mixer and it's a rotary. So my little heart, you know, my heart for rotary mixers. And we will see a uh, different part of the mixer. First, the normal part with PFL, volume control, etc. After we will see the ISO, it's not like whatever ISO, it's a uh, is with frequency with um, filter inside with the frequency you you can't you you can't know you have to hear that when you cut the music it's it's not just an EQ it's it's filter low pass high pass pass band it's pretty cool on the master part and after we will see the send section send return so you have to know when you connect everything phono input uh, line etc you have to uh, just to switch those little uh, push button and after you have two kind of mixing if you know and f uh, used to mix with old school uh, old school kind you can uh, push here the send button and have to send here to send uh, to your uh, FI external fx and you have to mix you see the 100% will be the point here. So when your track will be with less volume, you can add some volume here. And when you have too much volume on your track, it will be here. It's like your gain control is here. And you can also mix with a gain control. So you have to choose uh, before mixing and here will be your gain control. So you have to choose first. And in this video for the copyright things you know on youtube i will send uh, i will um, play a track directly from dvs on my computer but of course you can listen to a compare uh, folder a compare um, fold file uh, with all the mixer with phono input and the digital part so you will have one um, for uh, phono and one for digital so you can listen to the quality of this mixer of course great quality but you can hear it and make your own opinion if you like the sound or not, etc. So make sure you go to the description and download the little zip. It's not a virus or something like. It's just an Audacity project and you will have all the mixers and you can click on solo, 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 solo to listen to each mixer. So go directly here and let's see what we have. So. Uh, first gain or send, after you will have EQ section, we will listen to it, the volume control, the PFL section, so you can listen to channel 1, channel 2, you have your Q mixing here, so to the PFL section, to the mix section, or both, the level control, you have booth control on SEA and the main control master here on XLR on the back of the mixer like you saw on the little presentation. So let's hear a little sound here. First, let's see the difference between the volume control and gain control and or send. So first, let's put the um, gain control. So you put some gain here and you have your volume control. So of course you will have more 
level because you have a gain plus 10 db gain here and after for the sand let's see the curve of the fighter here so you will be on the original volume um, since the phono input or line input of course and so your little uh, curve here to uh, if you have um, a track with less volume or more volume let's listen to the EQ And now the ISO part on the master. So it's not just an EQ ISO, ISO EQ, whatever. It's really some filter. So you have um, a low pass filter, high pass filter, and pass bound. And the crossover between them, between uh, low and medium, you don't have the frequency because it's secret, secret for the brand, a brand secret. But it will uh, apply uh, on the crossover 36 dB per octave and on uh, the medium and the high frequency you will have uh, mid high you will have uh, 24 dB per octave. So let's listen to each part and after maybe we will see different manipulation it's just an example but you have a lot of manipulation on on those Let's focus on the low pass. on the high pass pass bend and manipulation.
I really, 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 really like those kind of uh, filter ISO. It's pretty, pretty cool. And for the end of the video, let's see the send section. And so for this part, I will take my headphone to listen carefully what I am going to do. So for the uh, send return, of course, you need to connect your mixer to your um, external FX, left, right, we are DJs, and the send to the input, the output to the return, and how it goes here. So of course, you set for the beginning of the mix, uh, not gain control, but send control. You put a little sound and we will see an echo, a filter, whatever. Let's see here. Oh, no, at this time it's better here. FX or pre-fade, but you can modify uh, maybe with the pitch after without your fader up, you will see, like that. Etc. Et of course, you can make uh, a filter or whatever. Oh, yeah. Let's see during the the mix. Let's see uh, with the pitch pitch shift, echo pitch shift. We, you will see it. It's pretty pretty cool. So let's try again. And let's go to the mix. And let's cut everything with the Nico at the end. So a very easy to use, very ergonomic uh, send uh, section for this uh, Model X and it's the end of the video. So if you need any information about this mixer, about the Model X, feel free to ask under the video in the comment section. Like I said, you have 
the audio of the phono input and uh, the digital part if you use a line uh, line input on the into the description so feel free to download the audacity project and mute or solo every uh, every line every channel of the project to listen to this mixer and or over the mixer and make the comparison with your own ears thank you for watching this video see you next content bye bye take care everybody